Hey guys, welcome and thanks for tuning in. So today I'll be covering nine important apps that I use before I go out to fly my DJI drone so that I'll have a well-planned and successful mission. All right, so these apps all apply towards successful flight planning. They cover flight zone restrictions, weather conditions, lighting conditions, terrain, and finally, flight insurance. All right, so let's get right into it. For flight zone restrictions, the DJI Go 4 app is one of the first apps that you'll want to check on. So we'll go ahead and open up the app. and then select the menu options up at the top right. Click on Geo Zones. And then you'll soon see a map appear. And on this map, it marks all the different areas where there are flight restrictions. Okay, we'll go ahead and select Ventura, California, which is an area where I'm gonna plan a flight. And you'll see that there are no flight restrictions per the DJI Go 4 app. This other area here does mark areas where there are flight restrictions. I do have a separate video that describes what happens when you try and take off or fly into a no-fly zone. So go ahead and check that out if you like. There's a link in the description below. Another important app to check for flight zone restrictions is called AirMap. What's important to note is that the flight zone restrictions shown in AirMap and in the DJI Go 4 app will vary. So it's important to check both of them. So we'll go ahead and type Ventura again, since that's my target site that I'm planning to fly in. And in this case, it shows a green triangle there, which means that there are no specific flight advisories in that area. So we are good to go. If we scroll over to another area where there are flight zone restrictions, you'll see that that triangle turns red. And then you touch on it and it will actually show you the specific advisor is there. This app for weather conditions is called Weather Underground and this is my go-to app that I use to check for weather conditions currently and in the future. And of course you'll see the current weather conditions at your current location. We'll go ahead and select Ventura, again my target flight area. And what's really nice about this app is the forecasted weather down at the bottom tells me the possibility of rain, whether there will be clouds, the temperature of course, and the wind speed. You can also touch on a specific day and give you an hour by hour report. Another app for weather conditions is called UAV Forecast. This app is great, it's specific to flying your drones and it gives you an overall condition of whether it's good to fly or not. So you can see right there in the current location, it says it's good to fly. It does take into consideration all factors, including weather, visibility, and satellites. So here I plugged in Ventura, California. It says that I'm good to go. If you click on the forecast button on the bottom left, you'll see the forecasted weather for the current day as well as the following day. By touching the arrow on the bottom of the screen, it'll show you the estimated wind speed and gust speed based on various altitudes. And in this case, you can see that the wind speed increases as you increase in altitude, which is generally the case. And the final app related to weather conditions is called WU Storm. Let's open up the app and then enter the target location, Ventura. Then touch on the map and it'll give us options to set the layers. So you'll select the button on the bottom right. And then scroll down a little bit and then we'll select that option called Windstream. Now check this out. Here you could actually see the wind direction. And so we'll go ahead and zoom in to the target location I'm planning to fly in.
and there you'll see the pier and that's actually what I'm planning to film and you can see the wind direction is coming on shore which is ideal because I'm going to be taking off from the beach and then flying out toward the pier and then flying back downwind which is the ideal circumstance. Lighting conditions. This app is called Sun Surveyor Light. Let's go ahead and open up the app and you'll be able to see the position of the sun relative to the horizon based on time as well. So this is great to help determine how shadows will be cast depending on the terrain that you're planning to film. You could also adjust the time so you can see how the sun moves across the horizon. And another important feature that I really like is to be able to see the sunrise and sunset time but if you swipe to the left you could also see the golden hour and the blue hour time ranges so you'll know when you'll be able to get some great beautiful shot. Terrain, Google Earth, of course a great app that will help you determine what you want to film, how you want to film it, and your takeoff and landing point. Let's go ahead and open it up. Hit search, enter the target location, Ventura. We'll zoom in closer. There's the pier. And of course, just use it to get different perspectives of how you want to take the shot when you're at the site. The parking lot in the middle is my planned location where I'm going to be taking off from. Another app I use for terrain is called Google Street View. Let's go ahead and open it up. Type in the target location, Ventura again, of course. And the reason why I use this app is to help pinpoint an exact location where I want to take off the drone from. All right, so we'll go ahead and select a point on the map where I'd like to take off. It would be right next to the pier. And switch to the actual street view and there's the pier to the right, the ocean, and you can see right there there's a nice asphalt location, flat level location that I'll be able to comfortably take off and land from. And lastly, flight insurance. This app is called Verifly. Let's go ahead and open up this app. We'll type in the location, Ventura. And the shaded area is the area that you'll be covered for your insurance. You do want to, of course, adjust that to cover the area that you'll actually be flying in. There's the pier. And we'll reposition it so it covers the entire length of the pier. There are some other options for coverage. You could adjust the area that you'll be covered in. You could adjust the time period. The limits of coverage and some other options. You can also pre-book the insurance. So instead of starting immediately, you could schedule it to start at a specific date and time. And then that way you'll be able to have a policy that you could show to anyone in advance of your flight so that they know that you're protected and covered by insurance. In this case, it's only going to cost me $10, so I think that's worth it just to give you a little bit of peace of mind. I do have a separate video that covers a little bit more details about the benefits of this policy and how to use it, so go ahead and check that out if you like. Alright guys, so that is it. Thanks for watching. If you found one app or one feature that you found helpful, then appreciate you hitting that like button. And as always, I've got a ton more videos coming up, so go ahead and subscribe if you like. Alright, thanks again guys. Happy flying. Bye.